Alrighty, my friends, welcome to our Mindful Moments pop-up. So in case you are unfamiliar with the program, this is a program Sherry and I put together. It's our seventh round that we're running. Um, and it's a program where we focus on bringing you mindfulness techniques. And that's in the form of meditation, guided meditation, breathing techniques, as well as self-awareness techniques. We meet live via Zoom three days a week and every session is recorded. So in case you can't ever make one, it's not a problem. We send the recording right after. And not only for you to do it that day, but for you to revisit on your own as you make time for this. And so our intention with this program is to build self-awareness, which is what mindfulness is. It's self-awareness in the moment. And it's becoming aware of everything, our reactions to things, when we're getting stressed, what causes us stress, as well as simply attention to our thoughts and you know where we spend our mental energy each day um, because that really has an effect on our experiences. And so there is, are different techniques each round. We have four or five new techniques this round that we've never done before. And then we do have some of the tried and true basics because you can do something, you know, some of these foundational tools every single day for the rest of your life. And it'll feel different and have a different effect on you each and every time that you do it. We do have a private Facebook group um, that we communicate through and then we also communicate via email. And what is most important to understand about this program is that it's a journey just like exercise, just like eating well. And everybody is a different place on their journey. So, you know, some people are like, well, I've tried meditation and it's not for me. It didn't work for me. And that's part of the process. You know, part of the process is finding the tools and techniques that really work for you because not everything will. This is not a one size fits all thing. And you don't have to be at a certain place in order to come to the table to this program. And so we have beginners, we have people who have been practicing mindfulness and meditation for years and years that come with us. Um, the idea is just to be open to inviting a shift to happen within you. Um, and there's no particular outcome. You know, we find that people will get caught up in not being able to make it to a certain um, day, maybe they missed the recording, they didn't do it. And then it causes some anxiety, right? And frustration. And that's all all right. The key here, we're going to bring you 12 different sessions. If you miss a few, it's fine. If you miss all live and you do all recordings, fine. If you get two techniques that you're like, oh my gosh, these are the things I needed. That's all success. Success is just in the showing up or either to the live sessions or showing up for yourself in life, right? If we're, we're planting seeds each session, and for you to become more aware of how useful these techniques are or where the shift in behavior is needed, that's success, right? So a lot of people say, I don't have time for one more thing. And I get that, right? But the idea is if you feel anything less than settled at ease, this is for you. So my friends, um, I hope that you'll consider joining us. Um, and if you're here just for fun today, that's totally fine too. You can do any of these techniques seated or laying down or standing. I happen to be in a chair today. Most of the time I'm seated on the ground. So you can feel free to do whatever you feel like. If you are seated on the ground with your ankles crossed and your knees are higher than your hips like this, what I would suggest is that you place a pillow or a folded blanket underneath of your glutes to lift your torso up in line. So that the knees are in line with the hips. So for me, I'm short when I sit, you see how my knees fall lower than my hips. I should really put something underneath my feet so that they can just rest comfortably and I don't have any tension here in my hip flexors. So you can go ahead and shift around if you like. You can take your hands underneath of your glutes, move them and then rise them up nice and tall through the spine, crown of the head, that tippy top back part of your head lifts up nice and high. And my friends, your arms can be where you like. Some people will leave them in their lap. Some people will take a hand placement or a mudra to uh, connect a little bit more deeply to the practice. Some people will place hands on heart or torso. It really is up to you. There's no right or wrong here. You can have your eyes opened or closed. I like to have my eyes closed because it helps me to turn inward a little bit more and not get distracted, but it works differently for others. So if you do have your eyes open, I encourage you to look at something forward and a little downward without dropping your chin and something that's blank that won't elicit an emotional response for you. 
And so my friends, go ahead and find that comfortable position, seated, standing, or lying down, but please don't fall asleep. The eyes can be opened or closed. You can take a little bit of movement here before you come to stillness. That's fine. Sometimes we need to work out some of the energy or frenetic energy, you know, kind of unsettled energy before we come to stillness. And if you struggle with being still, that's okay. You can change your position at any time. And my friends, I invite you to just invite yourself here to this place in time where you're gonna try this thing called mindful moments. Nice and tall through the posture, which allows your energy to rise and fall, to move cyclically, and also allows for the breath to be fully taken in and fully released. Soften the jaw and allow the tongue to come away from the roof of the mouth as you settle in to being here. You might feel comfortable bringing your attention to the breath, the inhale coming in and the exhale leaving. In noticing the breath, we don't have to do anything with it unless you want to. If you want to come to equal breathing where we bring the inhale and exhale to the same length or go to belly breathing or full yoga breathing, whatever is in your practice, if you feel you need it, go right ahead. But none of it is necessary for this particular practice that we're doing today. And you might be wondering, where are we going? I haven't said it yet, have I? I just want you to be still here. We're in the direction of stillness. It's fine if thoughts are coming in. Just come back to noticing the breath, even if I have to do that 50 times. My friends, I want you to imagine in your mind's eye a beautiful place where you feel safe a beautiful place that is filled with light. Whether you're outside and it's bright, beautiful sun, or you're inside and there's sunlight streaming in through the windows. Come with me on this journey to this place. In your imagination, in your memory, in your heart, in your soul, that is lit by the most beautiful sunlight. This place where you are safe. Notice all the qualities. Take your time. There's no rush here. If you're like me and visualization is difficult in meditation, I struggle with it. And so for me, I'm rattling off. I can't see anything, right? I can't see it, but I can feel it. And so in my mind, I'm calling out in my mind the characteristics of this place. That if I could tell somebody who's drawing it, these would be the characteristics. So don't worry if you can't visualize. I can't either. I really struggle there. But notice how you feel here, right? You're here, but you're imagining this place that maybe you've never been to, or maybe you've been to a million times. How do you feel right now as you imagine that place? You might find the negative part of your brain is saying, oh, I'll never get back there. Oh, I haven't been there in so long. Let those thoughts come if they do. Focus on the beauty. 
focus on the feeling, focus on what's right now, the imagination and the experience. My friends, feel that sunlight washing over you. For those of you who like the feeling of being warm, it's warm. For those of you who don't like being warm, <laughs> it's just the brightness then that is what you're feeling. Imagine that beautiful sunlight from head to toe. And what happens to your skin here? It responds, doesn't it? It's a living organism. So on your skin, how does that sun feel? Allow yourself to feel supported, lit from the outside. Allow your beauty to shine here. Imagine that sunlight penetrating the skin, warming the muscles, strengthening your bones, coming into the depths of your heart and your soul, into your very being. Allowing yourself to bask in the sunlight, its warmth and strength, its bright feeling. Bring your attention within. Maybe to the center of your body where your inner light shines. Maybe you're not feeling very beautiful today or very with it, accomplished. None of that matters, my friend. Because within you, there's this place that is just as beautiful as that place that you imagine. Where your peace and your calm resides. Where all the things that make you you reside. And as you breathe, my friends, and as you bask in that sunlight, allow this place within you, this inner sunbeam to grow with confidence. Imagining all the ways you are beautiful, all the pieces of your self-worth, because you are beautiful, you are worthy. And let that sun you're basking in, fuel this light in, in, inside of you. With every breath it grows. You imagine all of the, all of the qualities of you that are beautiful. All the ways you're worthy. All of the amazing parts of you. And you bring that to the surface meeting the sunlight that you're basking in. In these last few moments, and maybe you say, I am beautiful. I'm worthy. I'm confident in this. You can stay here as long as you like in this practice, my friend, repeating or feeling and enjoying. And if it's uncomfortable, that's okay. Stay with what feels good. I encourage you, my friends, to stay in this practice as long as you like. When you do come back to your space here in life, take some time to come back. Keep some attention tuned in. My friends, you are worthy. You are beautiful. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.